You know about his ability to shoot the ball. I love the way he moves without the basketball. It's going to be fun to watch Tominaga here this evening. Became one of the league's elite cutters last year as he got more and more playing time. And that's a little unconventional to guard nowadays. Everything's on the ball, ball screens. Tominaga's off the ball, an excellent movement. Here's Tominaga, first shot of the season. That one off the mark, but an offensive rebound for Josiah Alec. Rebounding a big key tonight for both of these teams. Alec, that is his identity as a player. The Lincoln native comes via the transfer portal from New Mexico. He can really rebound the ball. Frank Mast, a little short on that hook shot, got a good look, and now Ryder will push it up the floor. The Bronx, one and one, coming off a 30-point loss at Marquette. Rebound Tomenaga has been prolific from three to start this young season as Mast gets another offensive rebound. His shot blocked away and taken away by Tariq Ingram. Corey McKeithen had 11 in the opener, a win over Immaculata. Powell swinging around to McKeithen. Testing that ankle of Tomenaga, lost the ball on the way in, and Bryce Williams scoops it up. The push ahead to Kese. Open three on the right side, and the Huskers are on the board. That's a Kese Tomenaga two on one, not running to the basket, <laughs> running to the three point line. His first triple of the season to go down. Last. No, I think it's a safe prediction right there. The last of the first half, probably. I don't make bold predictions in November. <laughs> you just can't do it. Powell Turner, known. The quarter, the floater won't go with Mass grabbing the rebound. Good start for Nebraska on the glass. There. They got some size and some depth in that front line. Nice cut. Left it short. But you see, Mass can pass, and that's something that Derek Walker could do a year ago. And so Mass is picking that part up for Nebraska. Corey Keithan with the three. Evened up here early on in Lincoln. A couple of veteran returning guys, Alan Powell, Corey McKeithen, Mervyn James, who will come off the bench. Nagas three, pinballs out. And the rebound tracked down by T.J. Weeks, Jr. Brad transfer from UMass. He was a regular in the UMass lineup. Been through it all. Mass the rebound for Nebraska, his third already. Alec with the hook. Power. He's got some face. But him and Mass can kind of go inside and outside. And both do damage in the post. Up as the season goes along, as McKeithen's three is short with Matt. Listen, the Big Ten, you need older physical guys, and that's Josiah Alec. Well, I mean, there's some family pride on the line, too. I mean, he too. Cheering on, <laughs> yeah, exactly. cheering on his sister. Yes. Thank goodness they brought Josiah back home because it was really hard to get Nebraska volleyball fans finally, without him. Finally, yeah, finally getting <laughs> people some support the Nebraska volleyball. Working up against Corey McKeithen. Bryce Williams, the Charlotte transfer out to Wiltshire for three. And when C.J. Wiltshire gets it going, I feel like we've said this a lot the last couple of years, he's really a difficult player to guard off the bench. Yeah, two years ago, 40% from the three-point line. Last year, only 31%. I think he's much more of that 40% guy, but that's what Fred Hoiberg needs from him off the bench. And Weeks with the three and the foul on will switch by Ingram. He'll launch over the big man. Rebound back tap nicely by Alec. That's a good play. Tomanaga will dump it down low. That's what we saw from Kese last year. Great vision to find the big man. Well, you know he's going to attract people when he's lining one up. People are going to try and contest you, run him off the line, so you're going to have opportunities just like that. But Tomanaga's got to get into this game. He's just not quite into a flow yet. One for five from the floor. Of course, all five attempts have been threes so far. Trying to get the three on the other end for Ryder, and a good box out by Williams to get the... Tyreek Weeks, the brother of T.J. Weeks in the ballgame now. Mervyn James pushed back out to the perimeter. This is McKeithen. Deep two in the corner is good. It's pretty clear Nebraska pegged Mervyn James on the scouting report as a guy they've got to keep an eye on. Yeah, that's something that Kevin Baggett said that Mervyn James is going to have to adjust to. Ooh, nice spin and finish by C.J. Wilcher. You think of him as a three-point shooter. It's a nice added wrinkle to the game. I like his game off the bounce so far this season. He's really trying to diversify his offensive game. Gonna help him for sure. Certainly will help the outside shot, though. No doubt. 
Here's Mervyn James looking for the outside shot. Can't get that one to go. And the rebound tipped around, and Williams plucks it. His third. Lawrence, the quick push to Wilcher. Alec, the handoff to Tomenaga, trying to shake free of Powell. That three won't go one for six from put his faith in some different guys now to close out this half. Yeah. And he always got some matchup zone that you can run as well to switch things up. Wiltshire with a three. Nine to shoot. Deep in the shot clock again. McKeithen off the dribble. Gets past Wiltshire. Mast waiting underneath. But he's still able to finish. Pretty nifty play from Corey McKeithen. Wow. Regular off the bench the last couple of years for Ryder. Averaging eight points per game in the early going this year. Williams, the open man, hits the three. Ball tipped away by Hoiberg. Six to shoot. Ryder's got to get something going. McKeithen will launch the three, and he hits. Boy, Corey McKeithen single-handedly keeping Ryder around in this one. He's got 12. Keep in, not, keep in mind, Corey McKeithen was just seven for 37 from three a year ago. Wilcher looking for the answer and finds it. Another three tried. This one won't go, but James, easy offensive rebound and finish. Ninety seconds until halftime. Williams will step back for three. Pinballs around. A definite rooting interest in yeah. the stands. As speaking of volleyball, Josiah Allen, the brother of Beck Allen, go through that first four and a half minute segment. Trying to enter to Alec, ball tipped away. Hoiberg able to regather, drives inside through the contact. But this is where maybe go get fouled, go get something to find some rhythm instead of deep corner three, and he drilled it, of course. <laughs> <laughs> well, you you know he is never going to waver in his confidence. Nope. And the teammates in Fred Hoiberg, they're never going to waver in their confidence in him. Dudley driving inside, lost the handle. Jamarcus Lawrence on the push. One on one against McKeithen. The little Euro step wow. in by Langston. And they turned into a lot of fast break points in that game. If you're wondering who else is in the MAC, St. Peter's. You remember them from a couple oh, of years yeah. ago? They're in the MAC. Iona, Rick Matino's old squad. That they're in the MAC. Lawrence, nice push again in the finish by Rick Mast and a chance for one more. Free throw line. Looked like Ingram got him pretty solidly I, on the arm. I totally agree. Right. I would guess Kevin Baggett in this moment. And the Nebraska Cornhuskers, for the first time under Fred Hoiberg, start the season 3-0. And, oh. and Nebraska with a 64-50 win.